Hello, busy dads and busy people everywhere. I'm just en route to school picking up my daughter. Can't wait to be reunited with her. Um, and I just finished my workout. I trained later in the day today, had some things to take care of this morning, and I had a very good session that I wanted to share with all of you. <laughs> you see the lows on this channel, you also see the highs, and today was definitely a high. I hit 305 six counts in the 20 minutes, and the thing that I did differently today was that <laughs> I was aiming really to just fill the entire workout with reps. Um, I was looking to go at a pace of one rep every four seconds and see if I could go unbroken for about 200 reps. Then the plan was to take 40 seconds off um, and finish out to go for about 290. What ended up happening was the first 10 minutes, funnily enough, that one rep every four second pacing just felt very slow. I felt like within those four minute, four second time frames, I just had a lot of space and I ended up um, Filling some of that space and getting some extra reps snuck into the workout. I came out of the first 10 minutes with 160. And then I, I bled a few reps over the course of the next 10 minutes, but I never did take that 40 second rest. And then I, I sprinted hard at the end to come out with 305. I'm a little bit sick right now. Um, and I went into the workout, not very well fed, not very well hydrated, had a pretty bad acid reflux. I just felt kind of bad. Um, felt that sickness in my bones um, especially towards the last five minutes and so the crazy thing is I think there were quite a few more reps for me on the table today and I think that today's session illustrates a couple of very important lessons one is that you never know when the next high is coming you never know when you're going to feel good in a session and you can do everything you can to prepare and it's important that you do that but sometimes even when the preparation is off you feel really good but you will never know when that next wave is coming if you don't keep showing up to your sessions so the first thing is that sessions like these really underscore the importance of consistency but the other thing to say is sometimes going in with a fairly conservative rep estimate will free you up psychologically to get more i think it's easier to get 305 if you're going 15 reps over your target than it is to get 305 if say you're going 15 reps under your target very demoralizing to miss a target and you can often end up getting far fewer reps out of the workout than you would if you were able to hit the target and then exceed it so sometimes going in with a conservative rep target is very beneficial anyway my friends that's enough for me i'm going to show you that workout now and i'll see you all again tomorrow for a navy seal session Three, two, one, down. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. 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 One, two, three, four, five
70. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Eighty. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Yeah, five. 